Hi, I'm Monica Bniski, the High Museum of Arts Curator of Decorative Arts and Design. Today, I'll be speaking to you about why I love this Roberto Lugo work, which mines history through an original work that is also held within the High's collection. The Century Vase by Union Porcelain Works was created for the 1876 Philadelphia World's Fair. At the base, we see this frieze of white sculptural vignettes that comment on America's colonial history, including the Boston Tea Party and William Penn's treaty with Native Americans. The register above, we can see surrounding the profile of George Washington, these painted polychromed vignettes depicting technological and industrial progress of the United States from the last 100 years. Some of these images include sewing machines, telegraph wires, and a steamer ship. In 2016, the High Museum invited artist Roberto Lugo to transform this vessel for the museum's collection. Roberto is an artist who's informed by his Puerto Rican heritage, a love of graffiti in urban centers like Philadelphia, where he lives, and a real love for the history of ceramics. His work for the High's collection is called Trails and Trials, A Century's Journey to a Dream. This work was made specifically to engage with Atlanta's history, paying particular attention to its place within the civil rights movement and larger discourses surrounding social justice and other cultural discourses. In making this vessel, Lugo has noted that Atlanta has widely become accepted as a contemporary hip hop cultural center. He also looked back at the city's history and what he wanted to do was turn tragedy into triumph. As Lugo, an artist of color, has noted, quote, the trials and tribulations its citizens of color have overcome and the obstacles they continue to affront are testaments to their tenacity and determination as a people to make their voices heard. This vase includes an honest portrayal of that history, including connection to the Trail of Tears, Jim Crow, and an image of the KKK, signaling the city's history of white violence and racism against people of color. Here, instead of George Washington, Lugo has placed Martin Luther King Jr. as the central portrait on this face, cementing Atlanta's place in larger civil rights histories. Seen alongside Dr. King are also political figures like former President Jimmy Carter and rapper-actor-producer Andre 3000. For me, this is a superstar craft object, an expressive, handmade work that understands tradition and heritage, but is most powerful because it chooses to engage with the social implications of this medium, communicating contemporary concerns about race and place in America.